everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather or the Sassy Cinderella and today I have a globe in unboxing for you. Guys, if you are new here, I do lots of lifestyle, fashion, and Disney content on this channel. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more content like this and consider joining the Sassy family and hitting the subscribe button and turning those notification bells on so that you don't miss out on future content. So if you have not heard of globe in before, I am so excited about this box. I did actually open one already, but I did not post that one. This box is all about artisan pieces handcrafted from all over the world. So it's kind of traveling from home and I felt like with what's going on in the world right now, this is the perfect time for this box because I do love to travel, I love to get out and about, and that's a little bit difficult right now. So having something like that here at my front door is awesome. With this monthly subscription box, you do go onto their website and you can choose from different themes of the boxes. I'm gonna kind of put a scroll through right here for you. Or you can do a surprise me box. I did do the surprise me box on the first one because I wasn't quite sure if they were just choosing from one of the options for you or if it was something completely random and different. And while I did like that box, I would have chosen something different because it definitely was one from the list. So this time I selected the box myself. So I do kind of know what the theme is of this box. It's something that suits me perfectly, but they have tons of options. You're supporting local craftsmen and women from all over the globe. These items are handmade and they put kind of a little pamphlet in here telling you about the products. So let's dive right in. I'm not gonna tell you what the theme is. It does say color your world on the front of the box and globe in on the side. And I am very, very excited about this theme. When you open up the box, you see you have this beautiful print on the inside too and a little pamphlet that's gonna tell us about our products. And spoiler alert, I got the bake box. I'm not gonna let you see any more than that right there right now, but you guys know I love baking. I thought this would be perfect for me and there were several that I really liked this month, but obviously I had to go with the bake box. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. I know there are some fragile pieces in here. In the bottom of the box, I just found this, which is awesome. It says Mother's Day, May 10th. And this is a code, it says treat mom, give a box and get $40. So I guess you can, let's see, gift the most important women in your life, the gift of an artisan box subscription and receive $40 in add-on credit. Oh, they do have add-ons. So this is a great idea for Mother's Day. So again, I will leave all their information down below and that code is treat mom. Okay, so the first item I grabbed is wrapped. I have a couple things I'm gonna have to cut open here in a second. I believe this is a mixing bowl. It's got this nice slate gray on the inside. It's very lightweight, almost kind of aluminum feeling. Um, and then we have this nice blue trim and white base. It says it was made in India, so let's open this up and see what we can find out about it. We do leave a message for you in the front of this little pamphlet. It says, Dear Mavens, Butter, Biscuits, Cookies, and Cakes. It's always that time of the year for your favorite ooey gooey goodies. Let your bake box serve up the perfect utensils for any and all crispy creations and delicious delectables and bond with your loved ones over the cozy vibes of cooking. What a perfect time to. I'm not gonna go any further, it goes on, but I just think this is adorable that they do this. So I'm gonna find the page that talks about the bowl. Okay, so it says enamel mixing bowl. It has a couple individuals on here. Hand made in India, fair trade. The leader artisans who worked on your new mixing bowl are Maud Reyes, age 27, and Maud Imran, age 25. So I guess this is them right here. You can see the bowl in use over there. After Maud's father passed away, he decided to quit his studies in order to provide for his mother and two sisters. He is thankful to work with Globe Inn as he hopes to use the money made on this project to pay for the marriages of his two sisters. That is so sweet. And only after he has provided for his sisters, he also plans to get married. Life has not been easy on him as he switched from one workshop to another over his early career. However, he has found a home during the last three years working with Noah's Ark. His talent lies in product and sample development. Due to this project, he has earned enough money to pay for his ailing parents for four months and simultaneously save some money towards his dream of buying a house and getting married. So this is what this box is going towards. You're gonna have individual people's stories in here. And obviously a mixing bowl is pretty self-explanatory, but that is amazing and that is what drew me to this box because I really feel like it's making a difference and it's bringing you pieces from around the world. So let's grab the next item. All right, I do need my scissors for this one. It's in a little box, so it's probably going to be fragile here. It's wrapped up very, very delicately. So I'm gonna be careful here as I open this. 
<laughs> my gosh, this is so beautiful. I already love it. I love the color. So we have this little canister here. I believe this is maybe for like sugar or something like that. So this is handcrafted. You can see how beautiful, even hand painted, I believe. How gorgeous is this? I love this so, so much. And it has a signature on the bottom. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, so it is a sugar canister. It shows right here, fair trade from Morocco. I am probably gonna butcher a lot of this terminology, so I'm sorry in advance. But it says that Abdel Haq, um, which is the craftsman, um, that his life was turned around by working with the Sergini workshops. He started his career at an early age to support his parents, and at 18, he joined the workshops under the tutelage of Moulay Ahmed Sergini, who trained him in the traditional art of Moroccan ceramics. Years later, he became known as one of the best painters in his city. Again, it goes on, but this is amazing. I think it is such a stunning piece. I absolutely love this sort of passport style book they give you telling you about the artisans and who you're supporting. I am just obsessed with this box. You guys are gonna have to let me know down in the comments what you think because I just love it. So on to the next thing. So the next item is plastic wrapped. I do remember woo, what this is. I'm throwing it across the room right now. This was something that I just can never have too many of because I am constantly grabbing multiple. And it is measuring spoons. We've got teaspoons, tablespoons, all the spoons here. Stainless steel on a little hook. These feel really, really nice. And I love having many of these in my kitchen because when I'm baking, oftentimes I'm using the same measurement and I don't wanna stop and have to clean something to use it for a different product. So I can never have too many of these. And I opened right to the right page here. Again, how cool. I just love this little booklet. It says it was handmade in India, fair trade by Dilsad Hussein. And it says, say hello to Dilsad Hussein. And he lives with his wife and newborn daughter and works out of his workshop at home. He and his brother learned their craft from their father and have worked in metal craft for 13 years. He spends most of his time networking, managing artisans, arranging raw materials, and getting to know fellow craftspeople in his trade. Again, it goes on. And you can see too, as you go through the booklet, the little airplane moves across, kind of like we're taking this journey through the world as we flip through our book. So I think that's a little cool touch too and happy to have these. All right, there are two more items in this box and the first one, I just love it, which is this wooden rolling pin. It just feels, I don't know what it is. This seems really weird, but I love the feel of a wooden rolling pin, especially when I'm working with something very doughy like cookie, cookie dough, something like that. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. I like the size of this. I'm gonna say it's maybe around 12 inches. Let's see what it says here. It is a French style rolling pin. Again, flipping through our book. It says French rolling pin, hands made in Tunisia. I had to look this up. I had not heard of this country, but it is in North Africa, Tunisia. And this says it's made of natural olive wood. Natural olive wood is a family owned business that handcrafts kitchenware from non-productive olive trees. Natural Olive Wood Inc. employs about 25 artisans in their wood shop in Tunisia. They offer above average wages as well as paid time off, sick leave, and all medical social security benefits that are standard compliance for businesses. That's wonderful. So again, more information about that here, which is just so, so, so cool. It is a 12 inch rolling pin, which is what I thought. You get kind of good at eyeing measurements when you bake a lot and do cakes. It's the weirdest thing, but um, hand wash only and oil after use. We do have some other pieces in the house from when I traveled, like our salt shaker and our pepper shaker are both handmade out of, it might even be olive wood actually on one of them. And we do have to oil that to keep it protected and keep it long lasting. So I'm kind of used to that. This is really exciting. I'll have to keep you guys updated in a baking video, maybe bust this out for some cookies. Really, really excited. Uh, we do have one more item, so let's grab the last item. Again, it's gonna be another fragile piece in a little box. They really, really protected things in here, and I really appreciate that because that little canister, for example, with the orange hand painting on it, feels very fragile, like it would break easily. We have cats in this house and I'm clumsy as all get out. So it's gonna be fragile just sitting out in my house, but at least it was kept safe in the box. So, oh man, now we're bubble wrapped and wrapped again. Goodness, what is in here? Ugh, okay, this is beautiful. Again, with the hand painting, this kind of goes hand in hand with the sugar canister. So I'm gonna say this was probably the same artisan. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Okay, so as I suspected, this is a ceramic measuring cup. Again, there is all the info. 
show on the pamphlet here. It was handmade in Morocco, as was the sugar dish, but it is not the same artisan, so whether or not they're connected, I'm not sure. Um, but it does say the creator behind our new Moroccan measuring cup is one of our very favorite and talented artisans. Abdeslam was born in the Meknes region of Morocco. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering any of these pronunciations, but currently resides in Marrakesh where he and his artisan group produces ceramics. So again, more information inside the pamphlet. I love having this. I will definitely be reading through this more thoroughly. I love how it takes you on a little journey. And also in the back here, which is great, they leave you a little recipe for white chocolate macadamia cookies. I actually am not a fan of them, but I know a ton of people who are, and I am not selfish. I will bake something for someone else, but I love that they do that. I forget what was in, I think the last box I had was bath themed and in the back of that they have like a mask a homemade mask so I thought that was so so cool let me show you this with the sugar canister see how they totally work kind of together because of the orange and then you've got the blue in the mixing bowl so I am very very happy I think this is such a neat box all right guys I'm not gonna yap on anymore I have a cat who is currently trying to eat tape across from me as I'm filming but chat with me down below let me know what you think about this box I would love to keep getting this box because I just think it is really neat and it has a lot of practical items if you choose a box that speaks to you because there were all different options sometimes there are even little chairs that come I'm assuming you get a much bigger box I saw one that had like a lemonade um, like a lemonade what am I trying to say right now like a lemonade pour canister what is that thing called right now pitcher a pitcher it had a pitcher in it so I'm just saying there are all kinds of cool things that come in these boxes that are handcrafted from around the world and once again what a perfect time to have pieces from around the world come straight to my door so I hope you enjoyed this video I will see you guys in the next one and have a great rest of the week bye